direct plan and regular plan of mutual funds. In direct plan, investors approach AMC directly and they invest without the involvement of a mutual fund distributor. Since mutual fund distributors are not involved, commissions are not payable to them. This is a kind of savings in direct plan. Hence, it results in lower expenses. Due to lower expenses, direct plans generally gives you higher returns when compared to regular plan. The NAV of a direct plan will be higher than the NAV of a regular plan due to this difference or due to reduction in expenses. Normally, the difference in return varies from 1 percentage to 1.25 percentage in case of equity schemes. That is, direct plans will give you higher returns of about 1 percentage than regular plan in case of equity schemes. So, this is an average. So, let us see with an example. Let us assume an investment of rupees 1 lakh for a term of 15 years and the return assumed is 10 percentage in case of a regular plan and 11 percentage in case of a direct plan and see the maturity. The maturity in case of a regular plan is 4 lakh 17 thousand and 725 whereas, the maturity in case of a direct plan is 4 lakh 78 thousand and 459 and see the difference direct plan gives you rupees 60 thousand more than the regular plan. So, this is the difference. So, what shall we do? Are direct plans suitable for all investors? It depends on the type of investor. If the particular investor is well versed in equity markets or they are very good in analyzing economy or different mutual fund schemes, then they can very well go for direct plans or else it is advisable to approach a SEBI registered investment advisor and seek their advice. So, this is about direct plan and regular plan of mutual funds.